Hey guys, this is AC Lock here with Disruptor Manufacturing. Man, we're just getting more and more excited about these PowerStream skids. Now, this is another PowerStream 2500 that we have coming out of the shop. We're actually here at PowerClean in Phoenix, Arizona. A bunch of you guys have said, hey AC, we're, we're interested in that truck. Could you do a walk around video for us so we can see exactly what's on the skid that you have in the truck that's at PowerClean? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show you guys this one live here from PowerClean. You'll hear a little bit of noise and stuff in the background, but that's what happens when you do a live video. So go ahead and pull in a little bit closer here. I'm gonna show you something. Now, the reason why this is a PowerStream 2500 is remember on the power streams we do a power stream 1500 a 2500 and a 3500 and we've got a, even a 750 coming out for those you know chevy colorados and ford rangers and mavericks and some of those smaller mini trucks that you need a smaller skid and we're worried about weight capacity but this one is a 2500 because it goes in a three-quarter ton truck or an f-250 or a chevy 2500 of course, the 1500 would be for an F-150, 3500 for an F-350 or a 3500 Chevy. And that's how we do these. Now we do these also too, like that, PowerStream 1500, PowerStream 2500, PowerStream 3500, so that when you buy those skids, no matter what you put on them, whatever configuration you do, we're able to come in and make sure that you don't overweight the vehicle. So we build these very intentionally so that we match it to the truck that you have so that you don't have to worry about the DOT garbage, okay? We worry about the DOT stuff for you. All right, so what makes this one so cool? Okay, so when you look at a PowerStream 2500, it's going to be a six foot skid. A PowerStream 3500 is gonna be an eight foot. So these arms would go all the way to the end of the truck. So this is the six foot skid. We do that so you can't overweight the truck. You can only fit so much stuff on a six foot skid. These power streams always start one way and, and how they start is these are power washer centric skids with the POV or the mindset of downstreaming. So they're always gonna have right in the middle, right in the heart of the system, they're always gonna have a pressure washer. You'll see a pressure washer right there. And in this particular situation, it's an eight GPM Honda GX690 engine up there, eight gallon a minute pump, belt driven, self priming. It's, it's a great machine and it's at the heart. So let me take you around to the back of the truck to show you how these things start out. So if you come around here, on a power stream skid, you're gonna pick your pressure washer so you could have a PowerStream 2500 and just go ahead and put a 5.5 gallon a minute machine on it, but this one's got an eight gallon. They're always going to have two hose reels on the back. Now, of course, these are our line. These are our Stingray hose reels. We manufacture them at Disruptor Manufacturing. These are the electric mantas, but you could do manual mantas. You could put Makos on here. You could put U-frames on there to save a little bit on the cost, but it's always going to have an inbound water fill Okay, inbound water fill hose reel, and then it's gonna be your pressure washing slash downstreaming hose reel right here. And they're always gonna come with these two hose reels on the back. So you'll get the skid, you'll get your inbound reel, you'll get your outbound pressure washing downstreaming reel, okay, on the skids, and you'll get the pressure washer. And then you're gonna go ahead and put in your buffer tanks and stuff like that. So in this particular case on this truck here, we have, and we'll come around this side because it's easier for you to see. You'll see on this one, because we have the eight gallon a minute machine, you'll see here the divisions in the tank. So right here in the middle, we have a 100 gallon buffer tank. And we're not using a Hudson float valve. That's, it's a decent way to do a buffer tank, but the Hudson float valves hang, they hang too low down in the tank and you lose on a 100 gallon tank about 10 to 15 gallons of capacity. So it's like an 85 gallon tank at that point. We've actually put in an electronic float valve in this that's very, very small. It only hangs down about an inch, inch and a half in the tank. And it's on a solenoid valve. So as the tank fills up, it electronically cuts off your water fill hose reel and keeps that tank at maximum capacity. So you can see there's a 100 gallon tank here. To the right of it, you'll see the division right there is a 50 gallon bleach tank. That's your sodium hypochlorite tank. And then over here to the left, is where your three soap tanks are. So if you come up and get a little bit of an up angle there, you'll see three lids right there. 
There's three soap tanks right there, and they're right here behind the 100 gallon buffer tank. And so on this particular system, the way that we've put it together, we've limited the weight on this. You've got 100 gallons of water, 50 gallons of bleach, and then three eight gallon soap tanks. And that keeps you, you know, under that gross vehicle weight rating for a 2,500 truck, three quarter ton truck. Now, if you come around to this side of the truck, we're gonna bounce around a little bit because I wanna give this to you how it makes sense. If you come around over here to this side of the truck, what we've done is we've done some additions to the truck. So if you remember on the back of the truck, you've got your water in hose reel, you've got your water out hose reel. You look up there, there's two more hose reels. Well, those two more hose reels represent two add-ons or kits or expansion packs that we've added to this truck. One of them is for soft washing. So let's say you still wanna be able to clean roofs, you still wanna put out bleach stronger than a two and a half to three percent mix. You wanna go exceed three percent mix on your bleach. Well, what we've got here is we've got our actual soft washing head and it gives you the ability, you'll have to excuse the flagpole here, we're at a trade show. It gives you the ability here to mix bleach and three other soaps, that's your bleach tank, your water tank, and then the three soap tanks that are back there through your 12 volt soft washing pump to your soft washing hose reel that's up there. And that's a kit that you can add on to your PowerStream 2500. So in this case, it's a PowerStream 2500 with an eight GPM pressure washer on it. And now we've added the soft washing pack and that gives you this control panel. It gives you your 12 volt pump and it gives you your fully loaded Stingray Manta electric hose reel. Now next to it here, we've added something for downstreaming. Now, this, this isn't completely unique to us, but I think we do this a little better than most other companies. And we've actually got a lot more to come on this. And, and so we know what downstream technology is. Downstream technology, DST, okay? This right here is variable downstream technology. And what you'll see, we call this VDST technology. What you'll see, a lot of companies out there have gotten really, really good with taking a mono block and putting valves on them for your downstreamer. And that's incredible, okay? Gives you the ability to not have to use the straw anymore in the five gallon bucket for your downstream machine. And you don't have to sit there and pick soaps. It allows you to actually dial into four different so sources. And a lot of people are already doing this with on and off valves. Turn on and off your bleach, on and off soap one, on and off soap two, on and off soap three. And that's great. So that gives you different sources for your downstreamer. Um, I don't think we're the first to do this, but we're dialing this in and we're really making it, just, just really developing the technology and making it very reliable. We've come in now and made that variable. So if you choose your bleach, it's not anymore just an on and off option. It's, it's you can dial down your bleach or dial up your bleach all the way up to a 3% mix, all the way down below a 1% mix with a metering valve, which we're all very, very familiar on the blending technology out there in the soft washing world. So it's kind of a hybrid that we've done here. Next to it, we've got a soap one, a soap two, and a soap three, and they're also variable. You can add more soap or take away soap. You can do different cocktails of soaps. You can do bleach in one soap or bleach in two soaps or turn off the bleach and just wax. There's different choices it gives you and you can put in whatever soaps that you prefer in there, which is very, very great. And this is even great too for like, if you're doing like a paver sealing skid, you can go ahead and have your stripper already loaded up in there and you can adjust how much stripper you wanna go ahead and send to your hose and spray out your stripper and then come back in with your pressure washer and pressure washer pavers. So this gives you a lot of options. This is VDST technology, variable downstream technology. And I'm not gonna say it's new. I'm not gonna say that we invented. I'm just gonna say that we're really working hard at perfecting this and making it sexy and making it easy to use. And you guys already know that's what we do here at Disruptor Manufacturing. So that's, that's an addition. That's not just I got a downstreamer on my AGPM. I went ahead and upgraded a little bit and added the VDST console to my machine, which is an upgrade that we have on this machine. Now, if you look up above here, you guys are also familiar that we uh, own the Phantom Window Works line and we have Phantom Window Works Pure Water Makers, 
poles, brushes, window cleaning tools, window cleaning preparations and chemicals, and, and just a whole bunch of stuff under our Phantom Window Works line. It's kind of one of our little secrets that we have so developed out of a window cleaning line because we've only really used it for soft wash systems over the years. And of course, this is an open product line that anybody can use. It's just super robust and, and very high end like a lot of the stuff that we have, but it's super reliable and works great. So what we've done here is because we have our ladder tracks system, which this extrusion that runs on this 10 foot ladder rack that we have up here, this is our own extrusion. We engineered the profile, built it out, it's our own die, and we have this extrusion made for us. It's a little thicker, it's a little more robust, and, but what it does is it allows us to hang different things off of here and it supports the weight really, really well. So we came up here and we've got our Phantom Window Works, our general cartridge holders that we use for all of our Phantom carts, all of our pure water makers, the Phantom Shadow unit that you've seen on soft wash system skids before. And we've hung these stainless steel cartridge housings for our reverse osmosis deionized cartridges up here and even our carbon filter up here for making reverse osmosis or full DI pure water for doing window cleaning, spot free rinsing and all that stuff. That again, that also too is a kit, a, an expansion pack, a package that you can add to your PowerStream 2500. And it comes with the cartridges, it comes with the pump that takes water out of the raw water tank and sends it through the cartridges and into the holding tank. Then it also comes with the actual pump that takes it out of the holding tank to the hose reel. And then it comes with what we've affectionately called the bird box. Now, so I'm gonna take you over and show you the bird box and you're gonna go, oh, I know why you call it the bird box. So I told you we were gonna bounce around a little bit. So come on, come on over here. So the bird box, um, this is a PowerStream 2500. So it's only a six foot long skid. Normally it wouldn't be over here on a 3500, but because the skid's only so wide, we had to move it over here. So this is the Phantom Window Works. This is our pure water control unit. And this is a digital control unit that we have that comes with a hockey puck that you wear around your neck. You put an app on your phone and you can bring up the app on your phone. You can control making the pure water. You can control um, seeing your TDS, total dissolved solids on your app. You can also dim up and dim down your pump with our pulse width modulator that's in there that allows you to go ahead and turn your water down to a trickle coming out of your water fed pole or bring it all the way up so you can trigger rinse 35 to 40 feet up in the air and just do trigger rinsing of pure water. But we've housed this now here in the bird box. Um, if this was the PowerStream 3500, you would have the soft wash head on one side, the VDST technology with the downstreaming head on the other side and the bird box would be in the middle and all those would flow together on this machine here we've gone ahead and we've hung it over on this side because it's remote control it does have buttons on it you can't turn it on you can't control it from here but you're going to control it from the app on your phone so that you can control that away from your truck and we have a lot of really really cool automation coming up with controllers and everything else. You'll probably see on the next skid that we build, it's still in development and we're gonna be releasing it here really, really soon that you can add on to your PowerStream skids that quick, even skids that you've already bought. So there's the bird box right there. It controls the cartridges and the making of the pure water, the deploying of the pure water, the dimming up and dimming it down. And again, over here, when we come back over to the hose reels, you've seen where the power streams come with the water in, the water fill hose reel, they come with the downstream hose reel, but then when you add the pure water kit as part of the kit, you'll get the pure water hose reel, and as you add the soft washing kit, you'll get the soft washing up there. Now, something that we've done, it's not different, you've seen it on soft wash system skids. Um, we do something particular to soft wash system skids, that we only do for soft wash systems and that's where we color code the hose reels back here. And the color coding on the hose reels matches the six shooters on the end of the guns, matches the hoses, and we have a, a training system that goes around that. Well, that's exclusive to soft wash systems, but, but what we did here is we went ahead and still just labeled what the hose reels are. 
okay? So we came in and just put that that's the pure water hose reel, the water fill hose reel, the soft wash hose reel, and the downstream hose reel on there. It's not color coded like a soft wash system skid, but it does allow you to look at the back of the truck and tell your technician or your helper that you've hired, you know, maybe for the day or they're new, tell them, hey, go get me the pure water hose and pull it to me. And they don't have to figure out or guess which one it is. They know right away on the back of the skid which one it is, okay? Now, if you come back around to this side of the truck, I wanna talk about here this ladder rack and what we've done on this skid. Um, you guys know in the industry, I'm, I'm really big about things being beautiful and things being organic. There, nowhere in nature do 90 degree angles exist. You know something's man-made if you see a 90 degree angle. So I've tried to eliminate as many 90 degree angles as I possibly can out of this skid. So we wanted to build something for power stream here that was beautiful, dead sexy. That when you put it in the back of your truck and your customer saw it, they were like, man, that's a beautiful skid. Wow, where did you get that? Some of you are going, my customers never look at my truck or my skid. You're a fool if you think that. People hire you based on your truck and your equipment, your uniform and how you look, and if you're professional, and if you have pride in what you do. And this skid screams right here that you have pride in what you do. It's beautiful. It gives you a sense of pride of ownership on it. If you love the skid, you're gonna take care of it. You're gonna polish it. You're gonna spray it with WD-40 and silicone spray and all the things that you need to do to take care of it because you're in love with that skid. So what we did here is our inspiration for this skid. What we really, really wanted to emulate here is, just for fun, was kind of 1950s sci-fi rockets, UFOs. You know, if you've ever been to Disney's Tomorrowland and you've looked at the corbels and the brackets and the way they've got holes in them and the curvatures and all, kind of a Flash Gordon kind of look, that's what we've done here. And so we wanted to come in here and just bring some beautiful sweeping lines to here to match the very organic feel that we created with the Stingray hose reels. If you notice with the Stingray hose reels, they slightly tilt forward. All of the angles on them, all the edges are rounded off. They look very organic. And when we built the Stingray hose reels, we wanted to match this skid to where they both had the kind of same genetics. Rounded edges, no hard brakes, just very organic feeling, very natural, match the curves of the trucks and everything else. And we've really accomplished that with this skid. One of the improvements that you'll also see here is the way that we cradle our tanks. What we've done very differently here is we have these corner posts. And these corner posts not only are you know, architecturally beautiful in the system, and they serve different purposes, but the biggest thing that they do is they come and they corner our grouping of tanks. So we could put different tanks in there, arrange them different ways, and these corner posts come in and corner them from the corners, okay? And then they come up and they support the ladder rack, and they're very sturdy. This ladder rack here, um, the way we've done these, you could literally put straps on this and forklift this out of the system from the top or use a hoist if you wanted to. So it's, it's a very, very sturdy platform that we've done. And then what we've done is we've come in on the top and we've done what we call is the tank pan. And the tank pan allows us to then come in on the top of the tanks and it's a full sheet of aluminum that goes in the top that has all the mounts for all the pumps, all the plumbing, all the wiring chases and everything, keeps it very, very clean at the top. And, and then also too has the actual mounting brackets for the pressure washers up there. And so that just gives us a beautiful, beautiful look, very clean. Uh, you can't see the wiring, you can't see any of the tubing, anything that's up there unless you climb up on top of the system. And so we just love how that looks. It gave a very distinctly different look to the PowerStream skid because we wanted to have something very, very different than some of the skids that we've done in the past. We, we, we wanted to disrupt the industry a little bit because that's what we do here at Disruptor Manufacturing is disrupt the industry. Then if you remember some of our previous PowerStream skids, we were mounting some of our, our valve arches right here to this, the shelves that go all the way around. And the shelves are more for mounting hose reels or walking on. We really use this to lower the tailgate, walk up on the truck, put ladders up top, access our tanks and things like that. And so we wanted to come in and free up some room, do something to where we could get the valves and the controls down off the system, easy to access at the side of the truck, but not clutter up or crowd the shelf that's on the side of the truck. 
So what we did is we did floating control panels, kind of like floating shelves that you see in a house. So these control panels attach back here to the tank pan and they actually float so that you can get your feet up underneath them. You can walk up and down the shelves here, access your ladders, access your flat surface cleaners, get to your cartridges if you need to. All of that stuff is easily accessible because these are floating and your feet can fit up underneath those. And it just really gives the whole system a great look. So, you know, when you look at that, you've got your soft washing control panel here, your downstream with the variable downstream technology right here, control panel, the bird box over on the other side that holds the phantom window works control panel. Uh, all of that just floats up off the system and really makes it look great. Um, another thing I want to point out, just little things that are on this skid. I know this video is a little long, but this is just great information for you guys, is all of these these holes here that we have in the corbel up here, but also too on the corner posts, you're able to come in and put grommets in there. And those grommets give you the ability to put poles and brushes in there, put your water-fed poles there, your extension poles for your brushes, for your you know, brooms, anything like that to really organize your system. Because we know, listen, especially if you start putting a second, third, or fourth truck on the road, or you have a fleet, you want to have a well-organized, neat truck and a place for everything. And so even designed up into the architecture and the, and the beauty and the looks of this system, everything becomes very, very functional here. Even on the corbel up there, you can have different poles and brushes. Uh, up here, also too, on our ladder track system, we have our flat surface cleaner rack that can be narrowed or widened depending on the size of the flat surface cleaner you have. And then when you look at this particular, this is our, our upgraded ladder rack. This is the one that runs north and south on the truck, not east and west side to side. It runs front to rear. It has rollers on it. So if you look up here right above the truck, you'll see that this has, this is a good clear one that you can see. We have our aluminum tube on there with our PVC rollers. And you have four sets of those rollers that go down the truck. That allows you to put your ladders up there, roll them into place. And then once you get the ladder into place, you take and you move it over towards the sides here where you can see our disruptor manufacturing extensions, bring the ladder up over those, and then we have our ladder stops front, well actually rear and front on the system that you bring your ladder up and those go up into the rungs and they keep the ladder from moving forward and backward up on the system. And then if you look right up there at the top where the disruptor manufacturing sides come in right there, you can see we have holes in those brackets where you can de-ring in your ladder straps or tie off your ladders very, very easily up on the trucks. Looks great. Now, one of the things we're also known for at Disruptor Manufacturing is 12-volt DC powered. We do have gas-powered equipment. Of course, pressure washers. You know, we haven't quite gotten there yet for electric pressure washers, especially DC powered. There are some great alternatives coming to market, and we're excited about those. But really, uh, you know, pressure washers and some of the gas-powered roof guns and soft washing guns out there, that those, you know, you still have to use fuel. But everything except for the pressure washer on this skid is 12 volt DC powered. So when we open up the back of the truck here, you'll see we've improved our battery tray on these. And you could put up to, you don't need all these batteries, but if you want extended power, you have multiple DC powered things on your system. You can put up to five group 31 batteries on this truck. This front brace unbolts here and you can slide the batteries right in. You don't have to lift them up and put them in. This unbolts right here and you can slide the batteries in. And that's great there for storing the batteries. And then up underneath here, this is, gives you the ability to plug in and charge the batteries 110 plugging into an outlet, but we also have up underneath here to our DC charging system that is exclusive to us in this industry. And that's how we charge the batteries going down the road, working off the alternator on the truck, but also too, we can actually hook up solar cells to that. So you'll see some of our rigs that go out will have solar cells either up on top of the hose reels or running down the ladder rack up there and that DC charging unit can work as a solar controller as well. And if you live in an area where it's sunny, keep your batteries charged up for you. Even some people that like live in apartment complexes or keep their vehicles stored remotely, those solar cells can keep your batteries topped off for you if you can't plug in all the time. So great options there. Um, 
another cool thing, gosh, this, this skid just keeps going and going and going. And you'll see when we talk about, if, and you call Disruptor Manufacturer, you get a quote for this, there's a lot of options that you can add onto your skid. These skids start. You can just buy this raw skid for around $4,500. But, you know, you can get one decently equipped for about 15, really well equipped for 25. You can go all the way up to 50 or 60 grand if you want, but we have a lot of options for you. So like, let's say you're using eight gallon a minute machines, 10 gallon a minute machines, and you need to have an external fuel tank for those. Look at this dead sexy fuel tank. We make these in-house, cut them ourselves, finish them ourselves, bend them ourselves, weld them ourselves. This is a 20 gallon fuel cell that we have right underneath the shelf. And so you could see there, it's you know actually here at an angle bent at the bottom, so you get as much fuel out of it as you possibly can. It's slightly pitched towards the back of the truck. This is a 20 gallon fuel cell. And if you come around here, little things make a difference. If you come over here, you'll notice if your truck, like on Fords, the fuel cell is over here on the side of the truck, you'll notice that we put the fuel fill right here for the remote tank right next to your fill on the truck. So you're able to fill up your truck with fuel, gasoline in this particular case, come right over to this, unscrew the gas cap, fill up this with fuel, gasoline, and also to the cap that we give you right here has the fuel gauge built right into the top of it. And while we're over here, you can get another good look up there of the tank pan and see how the plumbing and everything's concealed up on top of the tank pan. And as you back away from the truck, you really just can't see the plumbing. Everything's ni nice and concealed and looks great there. You know, guys, it's, it's a beautiful skid. It's certainly, as everything that we build here at Disruptor Manufacturing, we do not build to a price point. We build the best without question, lifetime warranty. We're the ones that brought the lifetime warranty to the industry. We use all stainless steel hardware all 5051 and 6061 aluminum, all double thick polyethylene tanks. Everything on here is absolutely top notch. Everything is built to last forever. And everything that comes from Disruptor Manufacturing on here comes with a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty, including the hose reels, including the motors, including the swivels on the hose reels. And so if you're willing to pay up a little bit, you're gonna get the best and it is going to be robust and it's gonna last you a lifetime. So, hey, listen, if you wanna inquire about getting a price on a PowerStream 2500, 1500, or 3500 and start adding PowerStream skids to your fleet so that you can build your company headache free, give us a call at Disruptor Manufacturing, 407-900-2868 or you can find us on the web at disruptormanufacturing.com. As always, guys, I'm AC Lockyer. Go forth and prosper.